Dow Component Coca-Cola just reporting. Sarah Eisen joins us now uh, with the numbers. Oh, you set your alarm clock, young lady. This is my quarterly early wake up for you, Joe. <laughs> yes, to report on Coca-Cola. And it's a beat on, on the quarter, 68 cents earnings per share. The expectation was 65. Revenues come in a little bit better at 11 billion. Expectation was around 10.8 billion. Organic revenue growth, always important with these consumer companies. It shows with the underlying strength. It was high. It's 12 percent. And that was more than expected, around 10 percent. If you dig beneath the numbers, the story is pricing. They're getting double-digit increases in pricing, and that's really driving the growth. But I will say a surprise on the upside for Coca-Cola here is that they're seeing volume growth as well. Volume's up 3 percent, 11 percent growth on pricing. So higher prices, but it's not totally turning off the consumer because they're seeing growth there in volumes, at least globally. In North America, volumes were flat and pricing was up double digits. Really strong pricing in Europe, which is driving the gains there. I just got off the phone with James Quincy, the CEO of Coca-Cola. Here's how he described the quarter. Hard not to see it as good and, and stable and growing market share and growth all around the world. He, he really emphasized the, the scope of the global portfolio here because he said, Yes, we're seeing a lot of pricing in North America and in Europe, and that makes people wonder if the consumer will continue to pay. But in some of these emerging markets, they're not out of the realm of, pos of, of normal kind of inflation rates that we typically see in some places. And in places like China, we're not seeing inflation. So he says you really see the balance across the, the global portfolio. Also, this is Q1, so we're still lapping, hard to believe, Omicron, which was still with us last year at this time. So they're seeing the benefit of people going out. Remember, 50 percent of their business is away from home. It's at the stadiums and the movie theaters and the restaurants. And that's still giving a boost. He said that'll that'll moderate back to more normal levels for the rest of the year. As far as pricing, which is big, big story here, obviously, he does expect inflation to moderate through the rest of the year. Pointed to the Fed's actions, for instance, says, look, costs are still broadly higher than they were last year in places like sugar and corn syrup, but he does see them moderating, and he thinks that'll feed through to the Coca-Cola portfolio. And the other thing, Joe, I would just mention is that they reiterated guidance, still expecting growth, still have ramped up their advertising and marketing spend for the year. So no, no big surprises on that front. And guess what? Foreign exchange is still hurting a lot, but that also should moderate in the rest of the year.